Good morning, my name is Mike Capuccio and I'm here today to share with you some information about different indoor and outdoor ductless heating and air conditioning products from Mitsubishi Electric that we have. Um, today we're here in our showroom that we've just finished building out and I want to share with you guys as um, what different types of indoor units and outdoor units are available to you. You know, we go out onto a lot of homes, people like, you know, what system is going to fit best in my home? So, you know, we've got to kind of know the needs of your home, how you live in your home, what you do in your home, how well insulated is your home, things like that. And then, then we start to determine, you know, which system is the best system for you. So I want to show you the different options and the different systems that you could put in your home. I mean, this is a standard one-on-one -on -one indoor and outdoor unit. What I mean by that is we have one outdoor condenser, one indoor unit, okay? This is your basic standard model for one indoor, one outdoor. This, this unit here is the MUZ GL15. It's, you know, it's what we call a suitcase style outdoor condenser. It's about 30 inches long by about 20 inches high, one condenser fan motor. It's sitting on a stand here in the showroom because if we were to mount this outside your home in the winter time, we wouldn't want this sitting in the snow. Um, this is your basic GL style indoor unit. Your GL style indoor unit has been around for years with Mitsubishi Electric. It's got the bottom curve on it. It's got one, one set of fans in it, not two. It's got the vein, this vein here opens up when it comes on for cooling and your filtration for this You've got your filters inside, these pop out, you take these out, you wash them, you clean them, you close it, and you set it up. This is our basic GL model. Again, being about 30 inches long, 10 inches high, and about 8 to 9 inches off the wall. This, is, this has been around forever. This is your standard indoor unit. Okay, so next we're going to move over to our... our um, next size up on the line okay this is this is what we this is our higher efficiency unit this is the muz fh this is a hyperheat model anything you see from mitsubishi electric that has this logo on it the hi2 model this is a hyperheat unit and you say okay well what is a hyperheat unit well this this particular outdoor unit same size as the last one i just showed you on the um, the MUZ GL style, but you know, condenser being the same size, about 30 inches by 20 inches by about 10 inches wide. But again, the hyperheat model. What is hyperheat? Hyperheat is this unit here in the cold, cold temperatures, let's say at zero degrees, this unit heats at the efficiency that it's designed for. So let's say this is a 6,000 BTU outdoor unit. This unit at zero degrees will produce 6,000 BTUs of heat. It's not your traditional old style heat pump where at below 32 degrees, it would not heat. You'd have to put on the backup electric heat in the home or something like that. This unit provides the heat at, at 100, at, you know, when you have a zero degree day, you're gonna feel 100 degree air coming out of this machine, 100 to 120 degree air coming out of it. The indoor unit that matches with this unit is a little bit different than the GL style that I showed you. This is the MSZ FH06 indoor unit. And you can see it's a little bit wider. It's about 35 to 36 inches wide by about 10 inches off the wall and about the same height, about 10 inches, but it has a little bit, it has an IC sensor on it as well. So this little IC sensor kind of follows you around the room and it looks for hot and cold spots in the room and it then deflects the air to where it needs to go in the room. You can see a little bit higher efficiency unit and it's got a dual fan system on it, okay? So there's two fans inside this unit that split and it also has electronic vanes that are a little bit different than the GL. Um, they do a little bit more. So you can see if you look closely here, I have one vein on the right side which is actually oscillating up and down pointing air over to the left. This vein is pointing down, so it's moving air to where it needs to go into the room. So again, a little more sophisticated, remote control, a little bit different than the other one. <clears throat> Your standard GL model has <clears throat> the 24 hour programmable remote control with not the dual fan system. This has a seven day programmable control that you can program in all your dates and times for seven, seven days, do what you want it to do. You can set your fan speed, set what you want, kind of close it, and you can put it back onto the wall. Um, again, this one has the white line height, 
that would go outside. This would this would typically go outside the home. Pipes and wires would go in that. And electrician would run electrical disconnect to the outdoor unit. But again, this is the, the FH higher efficiency model um, with a 6,000 BTU. As we bring these up to, let's say, an 18,000 BTU unit, the condenser does get a little bit taller. The size of it would just get a little bit bigger, but the indoor unit stays the same on the FH series. Okay, um, now we've, we've moved over from the um, hyperheat series now into the bigger uh, heat pumps, which is, this is a 24,000 BTU unit, okay? Um, so you can see now that the outdoor condenser is getting a little bit bigger. Last one being a 6,000 BTU unit, the first one being a 15, this is now a 24. So you can see as the, out, as the BTUs get higher, the outdoor unit gets bigger. Still a single fan outdoor unit. This is actually on, you can actually hear it running. I don't know, you know if you can hear that sound, but it's very, very quiet, okay? Now this is being about 33 inches by about 33 inches. Still width is a little bit wider, about 12 inches. A um, little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, a um, little bit bigger compressor. So I mean, this is for a bigger room. So this is, this is for like a big family room. Uh, we put a lot of these in small coffee shops, um, things like that, big, you know, big wide open areas. Because you can see the indoor unit Again, it's, the, it's not a dual fan system. It's, it's, a, it's a single fan system with a dual blade. I've got the blade oscillating right now. So that is going up and down. You can, you can, if you can hear the fan, good luck, because I can't hear it and I'm standing right next to it. Um, again, look at the indoor unit now. It's getting a little bit bigger. This is now about 43 to 44 inches, okay? A um, little bit taller. It's got about another inch on. It's probably about 12 inches tall. Um, coming off of the wall about the same at about 9 to 10 inches. So um, again, a little bit bigger uh, filtration on this. Open the front. Um, filter's a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've got, you know, two big filters in here. The cover actually, when it comes up, it actually locks in place. So we've got two bigger filters that pop out. These are washable filters, so we wash these every two weeks. We basically slide them back in. We hook them in. Away we go. Pull the clip down. Pull the clip down, lock the indoor unit, lock the front in place, and away we go. So I mean, basic remote control, seven day, not a seven day, I'm sorry, this is a 24 hour programmable remote control, but when we do get into the bigger units, we do have some um, oscillating vanes side to side. We have what's called the wide vane on here. We have a powerful mode on this too that I can click on. I'll kind of click that on now and you can kind of feel, you. If you can hear the fan, it did rev up a little bit, so there is a powerful mode on here to bring big spaces down. I'll turn that down now, okay? Um, and again, you can turn it off from the remote control, turns it off, put it back in the holder. Again, electrician does his thing outside, um, puts, a, puts a disconnect outside. Needs a little bit bigger power service. This is about a 25 amp service that comes to this. The other ones are uh, sometimes as small as 15. So again, a little bit bigger unit. Um, line hide, you can see this would be on the outside of the house. This is in a gray. The others I showed you were in brown and white. This might be for um, a cedar shingle home. We use the gray a lot, um, where, the, where the cedar siding tends to gray out. These, this tends to blend in nice on the side of the house. So this is your, you know, your 24,000, a little bit bigger unit, a little bit bigger indoor unit. Okay, so now we're moving over into the multiple zone condensers. As you can see, this model here I have is the MXZ 3C30. Usually when you have an M MX in it, that means it is a multi-zone condenser. So this, this is the MXZ 3C30, as I said earlier. Um, this unit, when they say MXZ3, that means it can run three indoor units, okay? So um, this particular unit, we only have two running on it, so you can run two on it. This is a good scenario for if you ever wanted to add a third zone to your house, you would have the outdoor port available to do that with this unit. So you can see this unit here, I'm running two units off and I'm gonna show you the two different indoor units here. This is your standard GL that we went over at the beginning when we were first talking about the GL series. This is a GL09. Okay, again, your typical 30-inch frame, you know, 
11 inches high, 9 to 10 inches off the wall, basic filtration inside. This unit, again, like I said previous in the, in, the, in the presentation, this has been around for a long time. It's our standard indoor unit that we use most of the time. Um, basic handheld remote control, real basic, real simple, 24-hour programmable, heating, cooling, fan speed, veins, veins up and down, and everything around this standard controller. I'm going to show you some different options in a few minutes of what we can use for, for other controllers on this particular unit. But I'm going to move over here now. This is what we call the designer series unit, okay? This is the EF series unit. A little bit different than the GL, okay? It's a little bit squarer. It's more boxy. Um, it comes in three different colors. It comes in black, it comes in silver, and it comes in white. This particular one is white. Got a little bit of a different vein on it. It's, it's very squared up, um, very easy to wrap too. You know, if you were gonna put this in your home and um, you wanted this white to match this blue, you could shoot a picture of this blue. This is very easy to vinyl wrap. It doesn't have as many curves as the GL, okay? Um, filtration standard in this, very similar to the GL. It's got your blue enzyme filters in here. You take them out, you wash them, you clean them, you put them in. Uh, again, very square on the outside, on the cover. Comes in multiple colors, like I said. Um, the EF, a little bit different standard remote control. This has got the seven day programmable timer. Doesn't have as many bells and whistles as the, um, the uh, FH unit. There aren't as many things on here, but um, it doesn't have the fan system, like the dual fan system that breaks in, in the middle, okay? So again, set it, forget it, you know, turn it on, turn it off with that after you put it in. Electrician would bring power to the condensing unit that would go outside for the multiple zone unit. Again, outdoor unit having the ability to have three ports on it. We have two on it now, okay? Some additional options for controls, okay? These units can run off the MHK1 controller. This is a thermostat that basically has no wires on it. It's a wireless thermostat that we put a little controller inside the unit and there's no wires from the indoor to the outdoor and this is what would control that, okay? You do lose some functions when you use this though. You do lose some vein functions, um, but it does allow you to do the programmable stuff and it does have heating, cooling, and fan speed on it. So a little bit more simplified. It's been around for about 10 years with Mitsubishi now um, and it does work with um, Honeywell Redlink. So you do have the ability to have that on a um, computer or, or an app to turn the temperature up and down. You cannot do the program from the app though. The program has to be done in the stat. You can turn it on and off from the app and turn the temperature up and down, but you can't do programming with that. So. Okay, so now we're moving into the bigger multi-zone units. As you can see, this has gotten a lot bigger than what I just showed you previously. This is the MXZ5C42 hyperheat unit. Again, like I told you before, we go into the logo here with the H2I, that means hyperheat. So this unit at 42,000 can produce 42,000 BTUs of heat at zero degrees. Okay, so again, you can see it's getting a little bit bigger now. We've got, we've got two outdoor fans on this particular unit. And this is when we start to get into the whole home solutions or we're supplementing oil, we're supplementing propane, we're supplementing gas. Um, this can also be used as a whole home heating solution and cooling solution where you're not supplementing anything as long as it's sized properly. We, we use that for whole, whole home heat many times throughout the year. So um, again, this gets a little bit bigger. Now we're into about, you know, I'm, I'm six feet tall, so, you know, we're at about five feet. So this is, you know, getting a little bit bigger, a little bit wider, it's about a foot wide, and this is about 36 inches wide, I think. So um, this particular unit, when they say the MXZ5, it's got five indoor units on it. That's what it can run. It can run five indoor units, okay? Um, they do make five zone condensers that aren't hyperheat, okay? And they do make them in hyperheat. Some of the differences when we get in to the hyperheat units in the five, we're gonna have the two fans on them. If we had the five, five without hyperheat, it would be one fan, okay? But the biggest thing is when we go into this hyperheat unit with the five zones, we have to have in the house we have to have what's called the branch box, okay? So you can see there is piping from the bottom of the branch box that goes to the condenser. That kind of comes down and goes around and goes to the back of the condenser. Again, power to the outdoor unit is here. Electrician would do that. 
but there's only two pipes from the outdoor unit to the branch box. Now, this branch box is running five indoor units. Again, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And we've got five, five line sets. So we've got a pipes, ten pipes in total. Yellow, green, blue, red, and white. So we color code everything as we put them together. And you can see there's five zones running off of this, okay? This is the branch box. This would go either in the attic of a home, the garage, the basement. Um, most times it either goes in the attic or the garage or, you know, depending on wh where we're looking, it might go into the basement. I'm not positive. It all really depends on the layout of the home. But we've got, like I said, we're running five different indoor units with this, okay? So the first unit that this is running, okay, on the top here, we have, we have the whole branch box marked. So when we, when we come out to your home and we do an installation, we mark and label everything. As you can see, this condenser is labeled, this branch box is labeled, all our pipes are color coded and everything. So this is called the MLZ KP09. So that's, that's a 9,000 BTU ceiling recessed unit that goes up into the bar joists, okay? That can fit between 14 and a half inches on center on the studs that would be put into the ceiling. So this unit would go up into the recessed ceiling. We'd cut a hole, put it up in there, and it's very flat and flush. It would sit right up into the unit. It has a one-way below system, and that would need to be used with the MHK1 thermostat or the Kumu Cloud, okay, to operate that particular system, all right? Um, the second unit that this is controlling is an SLZ KA12, okay? And SLZ is a ceiling mounted cassette, again, um, and it's a two by two cassette, okay? I have one above me, and it's basically two feet by two feet. Uh, that would have to be framed out, and that would go up into the ceiling, and that has four ports of how the air would blow out of the actual unit, okay? So again, that has to go up in, be recessed. That would usually be run off of an MHK1 thermostat as well, okay? That could be used with Kumu Cloud too, so um, that's the second unit. The third unit on here, okay, is the MVZ, okay? MVZ is a vertical or horizontal air handler like you would see in a traditional central air conditioning system. Okay, a um, little bit bigger unit, um, needs duct work, needs a return. We would come out on your home, we can put duct work on that has the ability to put backup electric heat in that too as well. I'll get into the controls in that in a few minutes. But that, that's just standard traditional air handler, I would call that. Um, you could do the whole upstairs of a home with that, the whole downstairs of a home with that with duct work, and you can mix and match that with ductless units as well, ceiling cassettes, so you have the ability to do ductwork, okay? The fourth unit on here, okay, we have is, is the SEZ KD09, okay? That is a ducted unit as well, okay? But it, it's not as high static as the MVZ air handler, okay? So that unit, okay, is a little bit thinner, it fits in smaller places, and we usually do like one or two bedrooms with that, maybe a master bedroom, or a central area. It doesn't have a lot of static pressure. You can't put a lot of duct work on it. So a little bit smaller unit. We tend to sometimes do like two small bedrooms with that and make that one zone. Again, being used off of the MHK1 thermostat to run that indoor unit, okay? Um, next indoor unit is the MFZKJ, okay? The KJ unit is a floor mount unit, okay? So that's a floor mount unit that goes down low on the wall, okay? I have one right here, all right? Um, sits a little bit lower on the wall, a little bit bigger. It doesn't sit off the wall as far as the traditional units, but the, the veins are on the top where the air does blow out, and then the front of this opens up and all your filtration is behind that, okay? So multiple different controls to use this, and then all the piping for all these indoor units all come back and go to the branch box. All right, so everything from the indoor units comes back to the branch box, and then the piping from the branch box then goes out to the outdoor condenser. So that's our standard five zone multi system. Now, we can use this multi zone system. We can go up to eight zones with this, okay? So they, they make this in an eight zone model, okay? But when we go to the eight zone, we need two branch boxes. This is what we call a five port branch box. 
we would add another one that's three ports. So we'd have to put another one above this, let's say, or somewhere else in the home, and we would run the other three additional units off that branch box, pipe these together, and bring them to the outside. 